Hey, what's up, Max Shine friends? We want to give you guys a little tutorial today. Basically, the differences between the old school way on clay barring and the new school way on the rubber clay bars. Uh, we're going to give you guys a little insight on uh, suggestions and maybe um, some things that you guys didn't know, but we're going to show you guys on how we do it. We're going to show you guys actually also on this Porsche over here that we have behind us and give you guys the steps. Basically, this clay bar is more for, um, in my experience, more a body shop you know, detailer friendly. You'll see a lot of body shops take this. And then also this rubber clay is more of a modern, uh, I guess you could say retro new age. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you know what I mean? A lot of guys love it, but we're going to give you guys a little tutorial and show you guys how we do it. Okay guys, we're back here now. We're with the Porsche and basically now we are going to start the clay bar. We're going to use the traditional clay first to show you guys uh, the way it's supposed to be done or just in general, the way we're going to do it. And actually on these pink, orange color, fine grade ones, these ones are, are in the two pack. And then this one is in the three pack. It's the same, um, I guess the grams, but it's just one's in a two pack, one's in the three pack. They're a little bit different in pricing. And then we actually have the heavy grade over there. Today, we are gonna use the fine grade to show you on this Porsche. We don't wanna cut inside this paint as in deep. We just wanna go on the top layer and just remove with this clay bar here. We're gonna show you a little uh, clay bar action. There's no right or wrong way, guys, but there is definitely, we wanna liberally spray this. We don't, you know what I mean? We can go pretty heavy on it. I like to knead this just a little bit. And now we're gonna clay. And you gotta have to put no hard pressure. I'm talking about, you literally put this clay bar on here and we're just gonna glide on top of the surface. Just lightly, just liberally, just, you know what I mean? Just, you know, softly. Because if you were taking your a shower and you had a bar of soap, it's the same concept, but we don't wanna sit there and scrub. We just wanna decontaminate this paint and get it ready for the next stage of polishing or uh, sealant. And this is a fine grade, so you don't gotta worry about no scratches or any mooring marks. The heavy grade might give you that, but this one's gonna be perfect for this application. And that's it, guys. We turn it over to see what if we have any heavy contamination. We do have contamination on here. We can feel it. This car has been prepped before we did this and we could feel that there is contamination before we hit it. The, the main thing that we do on a clay bar is we want to go one, one direction. doesn't matter what direction you go, side to side, up or down, it doesn't even matter. And if we do this whole panel with this clay bar, this should take at least a good anywhere from two to five minutes, depending how bad your, 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 your uh, surface is or depending how you want to do it. Then especially when you're in a cooler uh, climate, now we're going to get one of our microfiber towels. We're going to do a little wipe. And like now you can see that this is a decontamination remover. Um, a lot of people don't know is it also gives your car a, a polish. Besides even, you know, um, doing it with the, the waxes and stuff, this, this actually will polish. Um, as it did just to this Porsche paint, very, very soft paint. It could be difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but for the most part, now you, you don't feel any sand marks. You don't feel like, and when I say sand marks, I mean sand, uh, sandpaper feel, you know what I mean? As uh, over here, you might feel it and hear it. But for the most part, this is how you do a clay bar on this type of paint and on the surface of paint. Okay guys, now we're here basically to show you guys the mitt process. We have a couple different shapes here and different sizes. Uh, pretty much these are basically all the same. The only difference is, is basically what your preference is and how you want to do it. And also is, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, this one right here would get into a smaller area as opposed to it would be in a bigger, it'd be, you know, a little better, you know what I mean? Cause these are different sizes. So getting in this size would be better to use this one. It's all preference and what you would need it for, your practice of detailing and how you're detailing, that's basically what you would buy it on. But we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna liberally throw this, throw some on here. And we're just gonna go back and forth. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I love the clay bars way more than these uh, rubber clays. But I'm gonna admit is uh, like right now, I'm having a good time clean because this this is not a, that bad. I used these clay mitts before, but this sponge one I haven't used, so it's pretty good. Just like so, nothing too crazy. And then we'll show another method. We'll show you another way with one of our other towels that will use the clay mitt. Hence that this is flat, this is a flat surface. This would be most likely our best bet. You could hear all that clay. And I do like this mitt. In my line of work, I've jammed my hands many times, especially on creases. Not all cars are aligned. This car is perfectly aligned, but not all cars are aligned. And if you jamming your finger is like an ultimate shock to the body. 
You know what I mean? So this is pretty cool because it has some soft little uh, spongy, um, you know what I mean? It's, you know, cotton. Uh, just like so, this is how we're gonna wipe it off, show you the results. And then we're gonna actually use this rag with the clay on it. This is how we clay it with this rag. And you could fold it over. One direction, guys, always works good. And another little tip to you guys out there that when you have decals like this, um, depending on how this is gonna uphold, you're able to go over there and you're able to go over with any type of clay bar or any clay mitt. Just don't sit there and ride on it too long, but you're able to, because there is some type of decontamination on there. We do want to rip that off and make sure that every surface that we clay or even in contact with is clean and ready to be polished. And that's basically our steps. And we're showing you guys how we use these, you know what I mean? And you could use these mitts on anything. And also guys is, um, it would be wise and it would be a suggestion for you guys is to after every panel that you do, or maybe even half a panel, um, it would be to rinse these off and make sure that they're nice and clean for each step that you're gonna do next. You know what I mean? Whichever panel, after you're done using them, after the car's completely done, let these soak at night, let them get clean. Uh, for the morning, you rinse them out, you know what I mean? And you go along with your process. And these are okay to be in the water. These won't come off. These are guaranteed not to come off. Um, and that's basically how we do this uh, clay mitts, guys. Okay, guys, now we are back and we're gonna move ourselves more down to the bottom of this uh, front bumper and this hood. And we're gonna show you the method that we're gonna use on this Velcro with the rubber. I like to call it the hockey puck, guys. <laughs> but we're gonna show you guys why we would use this smaller one. This smaller one we would use for around the, the emblems like this. And depending on how you guys clay bar, you guys would be able to use this clay bar any way that is comfortable for your hand. This one is so that we don't really have to use a more of our bigger step one, you know what I mean, and miss those spots. So we want to basically get it detailed, nice and clean with this smaller one. Pretty much clean that whole little piece, come out beautiful. Now we will step up to this, uh, show you guys how we use this one. This is basically another Velcro version. This is with the pad. And I like this because you're able to put your hand in here, slip it in here. Same thing, same concept, same process, just on a bigger pad for a bigger surface. Now this pad is actually cutting through all this contamination. You could actually see some of it, different colors, the darker colors. Give that a little wipe. Now she's prepped almost uh, and ready for a polish. This one right here is, um, I, I, I'm not gonna say I recommend, but it's pretty much pretty cool if you wash the car, whether you're foaming it or you're doing the two-step bucket method and you're using this back and forth, but this is good for, you're able to still wash and you're able to still have your mitt. You know what I mean? It's still clay and you can you hear it right away. We're moving any contamination that, if you can feel, we are ready. And if you still have um, contamination, whether you feel something on your paint, my suggestion guys, it would be wise to hit it again. Do another, another uh, a little pass over it. And then uh, after that, if it's still there, do another pass. Do a pass until it's gone. And you'll be able to wipe off and then by then you should be ready. You know, if you guys don't know, but another reason why we would clay to, um, and the benefits of clay actually is that you don't get none of this contamination in your pad. You know, your pads, you know, I'm not gonna say they're the most expensive, but pads, you know, they could be costly, you know what I mean? Uh, especially when you're doing a lot of cars. Um, and you don't wanna sit there and keep on buying pads, keep buying pads. It'd be wise to sit there and get a clay mitt or a clay bar, decontaminate, then use, you know, your, your, your clean surface, it's gonna be on a clean pad and you should have no problem you know what I mean? You should have no dirt inside that pad ever with a clean surface, you know what I mean? So it kind of goes hand in hand. There's a lot of benefits on why you're clay barring, whether you're using the traditional clay bar or you're using the newer modern clay mitt, whichever you guys think is appropriate for your practice of detailing. I know there's many ways to do it, but whatever suits you and what you're doing, that's the way I'm suggesting you use these products, you know what I mean? I want to say thank you guys. Thank you for um, watching. I ask you guys to subscribe, comment, and like. And thank you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next roll.